Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. For purposes of today's lecture, we'll be looking at the word cognitive inertia. Can anyone define cognitive inertia? I know it. Cognitive inertia is the tendency for belief to endure what stands before. Me. Wow. Who is that kid? She's my kid sister, sir. I'm sorry, sir. She's just waiting for me to finish so that me and her can come out and go to the house so that we can go and chop. She She's is correct. Yeah. She's a smart kid. Yes. She's a very, very smart kid. We are very, very smart in our family. <laughs> So, who can give me an example of cognitive inertia? I know it! Example of cognitive inertia is where some people are saying carry big, big books to school without knowing that everything they need these days is inside this small food. Great answer. Come in. You. Go behind. That is great. I think that will be all for this class. How did you know all the answers? It's me now. Nah. It's me that I used to do her assignment for her. You used to do my assignment for me? I use Wikipedia to know all the answers. One day, this Wikipedia, how can I buy it? <laughs> it's not Wikipedia, it's Wikipedia. Is it magic? How can I get it, my dear? <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Just go to www.wikipedia.org on your browser. The answers are already there. Just type in your questions and you will see the answers. It's very simple and it's free of charge. Yeah. Yeah. I said it now. It's Google. It's not Google. It's Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Wait, oh, you are not serious at all. So you mean it's this small girl that should be telling big auntie like me about weekly? We. Ew. Auntie, auntie. Big auntie. Big auntie that cannot pronounce Wikipedia. Is that one big auntie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with you. Oh. Good morning, class. Good morning, Auntie. How are you all doing? We are fine, thank, thank you. Are you? you? I'm okay. So today is an interactive word, class, and we'll be talking about what our parents. But first of all, I want to ask you all a question: What is the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country? Yes, Esther. The best legacy a father can leave for his family is a good name. Good. Put your hands together for Esther. The best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country is what? Good name. Because even the Bible said that a good name is better than what? Silver and gold. Success. Yes. Stand up. What are you doing? I'm trying to copy the notice I should copy. Must you do that now? Now that I'm talking. Ngwa, come outside. I'm teaching you're doing something else. Do see she did kawa ngwere. Bia, are you not part of this class? I'm not part of this class now. Okay, what was the last thing I said? Hmm. Okay, and you said what is the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country? Eh? Uh -huh. Then Esther now said the best legacy a father can leave for his family. In this country is a good name. Okay, that's good. I want to ask you a small question. 
Go on. Which country are we talking about here? Ah uh-uh. ah. Are we not in Nigeria? Why Nigeria? Mm, we're talking about Nigeria now. Nah. And you said the best legacy a father can leave for his family in this Nigeria is a good name. Yes, of course. Only. Yes, it's even in the Bible. <laughs> and it's here. The best legacy a father can leave for his family in this country. In this Nigeria, <laughs> is money. <laughs> Plenty of money. Uh-uh. And dual citizenship. <laughs> I can't even sell this country tomorrow. Yay. So that we we'll know where to run to. I feel like be serious in this classroom. <coughs> Wahala well, for this country, they like temporal. No, <laughs> no they great end. <laughs> Who good name help one? Come on, go and sit down. Change. <laughs> You are lucky this is a midday lesson. I would have flogged you here now. <laughs> All of you should shut up, Joe. <laughs> I have closed that book and put it inside your locker. Wait, oui, wait. Oui. <laughs> In fact, you are going to something else. If I punch you, you stand up and tell me something nice about your father. Do you all understand? Yes, Auntie. Ngwa, Abigail, stand up. My father is so nice. He takes us to Dubai every Christmas. Wow. Wow, that's nice. Put your hands together for her. Yes, Esther. My father is so nice. He calls me a queen and calls my brother a king. Oh. Wow, put your hands together for her. Yes, Mirabel. My father is so nice. Every time my mom asks him for transport, he buys her a car. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine that? Please clap for her. <laughs> See someone's husband, though. God, when? Yes, gospel. My father is so nice. She dog five swimming pools in our compound for me and my four siblings. Ha. Wow. <laughs> five swimming pools, cha. Put your hands together for gospel. That means the whole compound can have one mini. Please, though, somebody should not drown, no. Yes, you. My father is so nice. I asked him for a pet and he bought me a dragon. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Success! What is it? And she's nothing. So what did you shout? Oh yeah, stand up. Tell us something nice about your father. <laughs> okay. My father is so nice. I told him that I have a headache and he bought me a new head. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Success! What kind of fly is that? Uh huh. It's not like competition we are doing in this class. <laughs> and I was enjoying this class before Mira Bena started. The big hair gospel. <laughs> Me. Gospel, why didn't you tell us your family is full of married spirits? Yay. Then you. Your father bought you dragon. <laughs> Melin. <laughs> Kai. Nothing protesters no go see for like two gates. <laughs> you know the dragon. You should have told us that your father is the king in Game of Thrones. <laughs> and so this is what we are doing now. Line competition. <laughs> Kai, I beg I'm not doing it again. This is a new year job. All of you, I'm your madras. Lie on me. <laughs> or just end me. I'm your sass. <laughs> you should do fast me. Don't pray to sound and judgment will meet you people inside here. <laughs> <laughs>